Hi everyone, welcome to Get Your Play Online. My name is Michelle and today for ABC Arts and Crafts, we're going to be making a jellyfish. I can't wait to make this with you guys and to learn all about the letter J. So today we are going to be kicking off the first day of our superheroes and community helpers theme for the week. Um, so today's craft is going to be a jellyfish and I thought it would be super fun to um, tie this into our superheroes theme because one of my favorite superheroes is Aquaman and I want to show you guys a picture of Aquaman. Here's Aquaman. He is super cool and super strong and he can talk to fish and breathe underwater and he is awesome. So with our Aquaman superhero theme, I thought it would be really cool to make a jellyfish for the letter J. And I cannot wait to learn all about the letter J with you guys today. We're going to be making this paper jellyfish. And of course, we're also going to be doing a little handprint jellyfish so that everyone can follow along today. Even if you can't really use scissors yet, you can still make a jellyfish craft and learn about the letter J. So let's introduce the letter J. Here is what it looks like. Here is letter J, and every out letter in our alphabet makes a sound. The sound that J makes is J, J, like jellyfish. If you listen for the first sound in the word jellyfish, or jelly bean, or Jack, or John, um, then you can hear that first sound is what the letter J makes or the word jump J J jump J J jellyfish so now that we know what letter J looks like and what letter J sounds like let's sing the letter sound song together I like to sing this every time we learn a new letter it goes something like this Every letter makes a sound. A J says J. So we're going to sing that together. Ready? Every letter makes a sound. A J says J. A J says J. A J says J. Every letter makes a sound. A J says J. Awesome job. Here is our letter J. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we're going to need for our activity today and then we can get right into writing the letter J and then making our jellyfish craft. So down here I have everything we're going to need for today. It's quite a variety of things but hopefully you have most of these things around your house. Um, so like I said we're going to be making our paper jellyfish but we're also, of course, going to be making our handprint jellyfish. So we're going to need some washable paint. And you can use any color paint you want because jellyfish are all kinds of colors. And let me show you just a couple pictures of some jellyfish. So here is kind of like an orange and yellow jellyfish. So you could use orange or yellow paint if you wanted. Here, oh, here's some really pretty blue jellyfish. Um, these are all, they look like they are all the same kind. They're light blue. Oh, and here is a purple jellyfish, and he looks really big with really short tentacles. So jellyfish are all really different. They're all different kinds of colors. Um, and even their tentacles can be super, super long, like this one, um, or like this one, right? Both of these tentacles are super long, but this these guy's tentacles are kind of short. So jellyfish um, are all different kinds of colors. So if you don't want to use purple, you could use blue or yellow, even green if you wanted to, uh, maybe pink. So I've got some washable paint here. And I've got my cotton balls so that I can paint onto my hand. And I've got some baby wipes just to wipe off the extra paint. So that's what you'll need for the handprint. 
um, as well as some white paper to put your handprint on. And you'll also need some white paper to practice writing the letter J. Um, and to practice writing, we're definitely going to need a pencil. And I have a couple markers over here. I have purple and I have black um, so that we can make our paper jellyfish. And I have a piece of purple construction paper so we can make our purple jellyfish. If you don't have colored paper at home, you can use a white piece of paper, like a white piece of computer paper. Um, and then you can use whatever color marker that you want. For instance, I have my purple marker. And you can do the exact same steps with me that I'm doing on my construction paper and then just color in the white paper with your marker afterward. So there's our construction paper. And then we're going to need some scissors, some glue, and some tape. I have this masking tape but scotch tape will be just fine as well. And then last but not least, you're going to need some ribbon. Um, it can be yarn, it can be thin ribbon, it can be curling ribbon. Mine is this crafting ribbon and it can be any color you want. I have a uh, blue and purple today. So I know that's kind of a lot, but don't worry, we're gonna go through it nice and slowly together. Um, and first we are going to start out learning how to write the letter J. So I like to start with my finger. If you've watched videos with me before for ABC Arts and Crafts, you'll know that I always like to start with my finger to practice writing my letter, and then I'll go in and practice with my pencil. So letter J is two motions. You're only going to need to pick up your finger one time. So first, we're going to start here in the middle and at the top of our paper. We're going to pull down, curve up, and then we pick up our finger, start over here, and pull straight line across. And that is the letter J. It's pretty simple. So it has straight lines and it has a curvy line at the bottom. So let's keep practicing so we can get it down. Start in the middle, straight line down and curve up. Pick up your finger, start at the top and straight line across. How about one more time and then we can get started with our pencil. Ready? Start at the top, straight line down curve up, pick up your finger, start at the top, and straight line across. Great job! I'm going to, well, I'm actually going to do this with my marker so that you guys can see this on camera, but if you have a pencil, it's great to practice in pencil. I'm just going to be using marker for the sake of the camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So, this is the line that I'm going to be writing on down here. We're going to start with our straight line down, curve up, and then pick up your pencil, start at the top, and straight line across. Awesome job. Let's keep going. Let's practice another one. Start at the top, straight line down, Curve up and straight line across. Awesome job. Let's try one more time and then we can start our craft. So start at the top, straight line down, curve up and pick up your pencil, straight line across. Awesome job, friends. That looks great. So now what I like to do is pick out my best letter J. Um, I think this one over here is my best. So I'm going to circle it so that I can kind of have a good idea of what to look at when I'm doing my craft later. 
So great job. We just learned how to write the letter J. Very good job, friends. Great job practicing your writing skills. So now that we know how to make the letter J and what it looks like and what it sounds like, we can start our craft so that we have a little visual representation of the letter J. So let's start with the handprint jellyfish, um, just so that we can allow the paint to dry while we're doing our paper one. So the handprint jellyfish is great for all my friends out there. Um, anyone can do this handprint activity, um, but it's going to be especially great for my friends who can't really use scissors yet or um, maybe you don't have all this stuff at home but you do have some paint and paper um this is going to be great so that everyone can join in even our younger friends out there so i'm going to grab my paint my white paper and my cotton balls and um, please be assured that you ask mom and dad first before you get this paint out and start using it uh, or make sure that they're sitting there with you and maybe helping you if you need it. So um, I like to have some baby wipes over here ready just to wipe off the paint from my hands. Um, if you are near a sink, that would be great to go wash your hands too. So we're going to make a jellyfish with our handprint. So I like to use cotton balls to paint on my uh, hand. You can use a paintbrush or whatever you have. I just kind of like the cotton balls because you can throw them right in the trash. So we're just going to put a nice even layer of paint on the palm of our hand. All right. That looks good to me. So here's what my hand looks like. And don't forget, you can really use any color that you want. So we are going to kind of place our hand in the middle of our paper. Um, we don't want it too close to the bottom or too close to the top. We want it kind of in the middle here. And we're going to relax our fingers. We don't want them stretched out and we don't want them like clenched together. We kind of just want a nice relaxed hand. Um, and you don't want your thumb sticking out either. You want it kind of close and just relax your hand. And we're going to press it into the paper, nice and relaxed. And really make sure that you press down your palm and all of your knuckles. And then when you're ready, you can peel your hand off slowly. Ready? There's my handprint. Great job. So now I'm just wiping off the paint from my hand. And if you're near a sink, definitely go wash your hands really quick. Just for the sake of the video, I am wiping with baby wipes so I don't have to get up and go to my sink. Okay, so we're going to let our handprint dry, and when it's all dry, we'll come back and add some little details that will help it make, will help make it look more like a jellyfish. Great! So, I'm just going to set this off to the side and let it dry. And while it's drying, we're going to make our construction paper jellyfish, like this one. So like I said before, we're gonna need one piece of colored construction paper. You can choose any color you want, but I have purple. Um, and you can still do this activity even if you don't have construction paper. You can totally use a piece of white printer paper, like this. 
um, or even notebook paper if that's all you have. You can just grab one of those and grab a crayon or a marker um, and do the exact same steps with me. And at the end, you'll just color in your jellyfish with your marker or crayon. So don't worry, if you don't have construction paper at home, you can totally still do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw, um, we're going to write a letter J and we're going to make it thick. We're gonna kind of make it like a bubble letter J. So um, in here, you can use your piece of paper that you were practicing your J's on. You can kind of use this as a reference for um, writing your J. So when you're writing your J, let's start at the very top of our paper up here because we're going to want to save all this space at the bottom. So I'm going to start right about here um, and it's a, probably a good idea to use pencil. So I'm going to, let's see, let's start right about here. And we're going to make our straight line down and curve up. There is my J. And then remember at the top, we start over here and straight line across. Okay, so now to make it nice and thick, we'll make a big bubble letter. We are going to draw right outside of the line we just made and follow it and then connect the lines. And up here at the top, you don't really have to draw a whole line across. You can just use the straight line of your paper. And then we're just gonna make it a little bit thicker by dragging out the line. And then down here too, we're going to draw another line and we're just going to make the J nice and thick. and connect everything. So here, hopefully y'all can see it, and let me go ahead and outline this in marker so we can see it well on camera. This is what my bubble letter J looks like. And this is what I'll be cutting out. So here is my J. And like I said, if you have your white paper, just draw, do the same exact steps. And then later you can go and color in with marker or crayon on your white paper. So now it's time to cut out our letter J. And you do wanna be careful when you're using scissors, make sure you ask mom and dad first um, if you can use scissors because they might want to watch you while you're using them or they might um, want to help you a little bit and that's okay. So I'm just cutting out my J nice and slow, nice and careful. Um, and I am actually going to stop and erase because I always forget to do this. <laughs> um, if you have done any other ABC Arts and Crafts videos with me, You'll probably notice I always forget to erase my pencil before I start cutting because I am so excited to, to do this. I just forget. So if you have lines in pencil like this, definitely erase them before you start cutting out. It'll be a lot easier. So erasing, erasing, erasing. Erase all the, oops, all the pencil marks before you cut out. It'll be so much easier if you erase them before. Okay. So, 
I've got all my pencil marks erased. And now I'm just cutting out my J. Cut, cut, cut. There we go, all the way around. And a good tip is you don't want to make your little curve um, too long because it could easily rip and it won't be very stable. You can just make a tiny little tail for your J, kind of like how I did. I didn't make my J too curvy at the bottom. All right, there is my J, and we're gonna save this piece off to the side. Okay, so here is our bubble letter J all cut out, and now we're going to make the, excuse me, the body of our jellyfish. So I like to use my J that I already cut out to kind of measure how big the body of my jellyfish is going to be. So here I can just, I'm going to use my pencil. I can kind of just trace around the letter and it's going to be kind of a half circle shape. So it's going to be kind of straight on the bottom and then it's going to be curved around at the top. And I will um, outline that in marker so you guys can see that a lot better. Okay, so here is the shape for my jellyfish head, like the head, the body of it. It kind of looks like a little mushroom cap. So there it is. And what I like to do on the bottom is kind of make like wiggly lines to make it look a little bit more like it's floating in the ocean, right? So now that we have this, we can go ahead and cut it out. And like I said, I like to make these little wiggly lines at the bottom. Whoa. And once it's all cut out, you can use this clean side that doesn't have any marks on the back. So see here's kind of where I was outlining with marker and if you just flip it over, you've got a clean side. So I'm just gonna go in and make these little wiggly lines a little bit more wiggly. Cause I kind of want it to look like my jellyfish is like moving through the water. There we go. So here is how mine turned out. And it's going to look a little bit like this. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to need to pull out our tape and our ribbon. So the ribbon is going to make the tentacles that are coming down out of the jellyfish body. So I'm going to take one of my ribbons and I'm going to measure how long it needs to be. So I'm just going to hold it up here at the top 
and I'm going to measure how long I think it should be, and then I'm going to cut it right there. So here at the bottom, I'm cutting right where my finger is. And here is how long all of my ribbons are going to be. So I'm going to cut, um, let's see, maybe about eight ribbons. Um, and you can cut as many as you want. If you want to cut more than eight, you can totally do that. Your jellyfish is going to have a lot of tentacles. Um, but like I said, every jellyfish is like so different. There's so many kinds of jellyfishes. Um, so yours can look totally different from mine. You can make it look however you want. So there's four. I have four tentacles cut out now. Let's keep counting. So four, five, and I'm gonna switch to my blue. Six, seven, eight, and I'm just going to go for number ten. I'm going to I'm just going to cut out a couple more and make it even ten. So here's number nine, and here is number ten. So the more ribbon you cut out, the more tentacles that your jellyfish is going to have. So here is all my ribbon. It's cut. Um, it's all kind of the same length. They don't have to be perfect, um, just as long as they're like kind of similar in their length together. So here is my little trick for putting on ribbon super easily. Um, I'm going to take a piece of tape that's about the, the length of my jellyfish head and I'm going to put one side, one little piece of the tape on my jellyfish head and I am going to kind of rip it off over here. And I'm going to bend my tape or fold it. And I'm going to put another sticky side on over here on this side of the jellyfish head. So what you have is the sticky side is facing up. The sticky side of your tape is facing up. And now you can just place your ribbon on the sticky side of the tape. And you don't have to worry about taping down or gluing down each individual tentacle ribbon. You can just put them on the sticky side of the tape. So I'm now I'm putting my tentacles on. So I have one, two, whoa, three, Four, five, whoopsie. This can be tricky because the tape is sticky on this side, so your finger is going to probably get stuck. There's five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so I am actually going to cut just a couple more ribbons out because I want to really fill out this tape and I have a little bit of space over here so I'm just gonna cut out two more ribbons and they don't have to be perfect because if you cut a ribbon that's like way too long you can always trim it up in the end if you don't like how it looks 
So here is number 11. And here is number 12. Okay, so we have our ribbon stuck to this piece of sticky tape that is also taped onto the back of our jellyfish body. So now we're going to take our letter J and we're going to keep this sticky side down. We're going to place it down on the top of the J and we're gonna make sure that our tape goes right on to this line here on our J, just like that. And there's our jellyfish. There it is. And um, if you cut some that are like super long, like these are super long over here, you can always just go in and cut cut, cut, and make them a little bit more even, but you totally don't have to do that. So here's our jellyfish. Let's go ahead and add a face. I'm gonna add a little smiley face with some eyes. And there is our jellyfish. Amazing. I think this is so cute. I love how it turned out. It really does look like a little jellyfish. And my mom was nice enough to bring us some more pictures of jellyfish and Aquaman so that we could look at them together. So let me just cut these out for you guys. Here is the original Aquaman. How cool is he? This is the comic book Aquaman. Um, he's got his little gloves. He's got his belt and he's got his trident. There's Aquaman from the comic books. And here is the picture of Aquaman that I showed you on my phone. Here is Aquaman from the movies. He is so strong. He's got his cool gloves. He's got his cool trident. Um, this is probably the ones that you guys have seen. If maybe you've seen the Aquaman movie, this is probably the Aquaman that you're familiar with. But I think it's so cool um, to show the original comic book Aquaman 2. And Aquaman, of course, can breathe underwater. So he has probably seen many jellyfish in his crime fighting days. Um, and I think our jellyfish kind of turned out like looking like one of these with the really long tentacles, really long and skinny. Um, but of course, like I said, there are so many kinds of jellyfish. Like this one here has some more um, short tentacles. And these here are really light blue color. So really there are so many kinds of jellyfish and I would love to see how your jellyfish turned out. If it looks like mine, that's great. If it looks like maybe this little red one here, that would be super cool too. So I'm going to set my construction paper jellyfish off to the side and we're going to bring back the handprint and we're going to finish this up. Um, and my paint is actually nice and dry, which is perfect. So I'm going to take a black marker and I'm just going to um, finish up by adding some details that will help make our handprint kind of transform into a jellyfish. So I like to kind of outline the top here um, and make it kind of look like the head of the jellyfish that we made, you know, kind of wiggly lines at the bottom. And then we can add some tentacles here and on top of our handprints here. And my black marker is kind of running out. 
Uh oh, there we go. And if you want to, you can even use other colors. Like I'm gonna bring in my purple marker here. And there is our jellyfish. And don't forget to add a face if you want to. Um, you could even use like googly eyes if you have those at your house. Um, you can glue some googly eyes on here and that would be super cute as well. But you can also just draw a face, just like that. <laughs> so here is our handprint jellyfish. I think it's so adorable. And of course, every artist should write their name on their artwork. Um, so I'm going to write my name at the bottom. M I C H E L L and at the top we can label our artwork so I'm going to write jellyfish at the top and you can follow along with me if you want to also um, write the word jellyfish on your artwork so of course it starts with a J and next is an E and then an L another L a Y, F, I, S, hopefully this is not backwards, okay, S and then H, jellyfish. And if you want to, you can even go in and add some details to your handprint. So if you've got some markers, you can grab them and um, maybe you wanna add some bubbles to make it look like the ocean. So I'm gonna add some bubbles here for my jelly. And maybe you want to make some seaweed at the bottom. Maybe you could even draw um, another fish in the background. So I'm going to grab my pink. And I'm just adding um, whatever details that I want to kind of make it look like an ocean scene. Um, maybe there is a bluefish in the background. Maybe there's even another jellyfish hanging out back here. So if you want to, you could even, um, you know, paste a picture of Aquaman because that's what this week is all about, right? Superheroes and Mr. Aquaman, you know, I'm sure he has seen a bunch of jellyfish um, since he can, you know, breathe underwater. So I'm gonna just kind of paste Aquaman over here on my painting. Totally optional, but I figured just because I have um, a little picture of him, he can probably hang out with my jellyfish. So there you have it, guys. There is a handprint jellyfish, and here is our construction paper jellyfish. 
So I really hope that you guys had so much fun with me today, um, learning all about the letter J and making a jellyfish craft. I love how these turn out. I think they're so cute. So if you also did this craft, um, definitely take a picture and ask your parents to post it in the comments of this video so that I can see your amazing ABC art creations. I can't wait to see them, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys next time at Get Your Play Online. Have a great week learning and playing with superheroes. Bye, friends.